the Fujifilm Instax Mini Instant Film Value Pack. Is it worth it? Is it worth the price? Well, this film is of course compatible with any Instax Mini style camera, but let's look at how many reviews. It has 7,433 reviews with a 4.4 out of 5 star rating overall. And 76% of those ratings are 5 stars. 10% of those ratings are 1 star. So we're just going to take a look at a couple 5 stars and then a couple 1 stars so that we can make a comparison and see if it's worth it. Let's check out first the 5 star. One 5 star review from Rob says it's fun. He says he's very, very happy with the Instax Mini Film and the Mini 90 camera. A serious photographer for 25 years, no other genre or format has given me so much pleasure. Results are instant and fun. Another five-star review from Torres says, the best film de deal. I bought a couple of these 60-pack 60, uh, family, bo uh, family boxes and I'm never going back. As somebody who kind of consistently uses their instant camera pretty frequently, it's nice to have multiple packs at home without having to run to the store every 20 shots. Also, if you do the math, this is one of the best deals in Instax mini film that you'll find around. Now I just have to wait for these to be back in stock to order even more. Here's another five star review from Esther V. It says a tad expensive, but worth it. I love these little pictures. All of mine have worked and developed. If anything is wrong with the pictures as an under uh, slash overexposed, it's usually my fault because I forget to pick the correct setting. Remember that you can't squeeze the film pack, open the camera when there's a pack of film inside, shake the pictures, or expose them to direct sunlight. If all of that is avoided and you pick the correct setting, pictures will come out well with a vintage look. So those are some good reviews. But now let's consider a, one, a couple one-star reviews. A one-star review from Robert says, Terrible. Better off buying a at Costco or Target. Arrived as three cell, uh, cellophane-bound packs um, from Chinese origin, all writing on pack with Chinese and web address on the pack. Two out of the ten packs, not packaged, or not the package pictured. So what happened is he got sent the wrong um, product. So obviously that's not a great experience. Um, another one star from Joshua says, uh, Disappointed, but there's an update. He says, I love the new Polaroid I got for Christmas from my parents. As far as this pack of film goes, the first set of 10 images turned out great. I loved them all. But then the second set of 10 I opened up, they all printed completely black. I was seriously disappointed by this. I hope the rest of my prints turn out well. Here's the update though. I bought the Fujifilm mini film value pack with 60 prints from Amazon. So far I have used 5 out of 6 packages included in the box. And so far I've been very disappointed. 34 of the 50 prints I have tried turned out completely black. So this uh, man Joshua here is having an issue with the pictures coming out. Um, from one of the reviews mentioned before, one of those 5 stars, they talked about the settings and the lighting. So I wonder if it's a user error. Um, or it may not be, it may be a manufacturing defect, which in that case, you can always get your money back and get a return from Amazon. They're usually pretty good about that. Um, let's look at one more uh, one-star review from Louisa. Uh, she says, extremely disappointed. I bought this pack because I was going on a month-long vacation. I was very much looking forward to using my camera throughout my trip, but after the first two pictures, the films completely stopped coming out. So, um, she has a, a similar experience. So how much of that is user error and how much of it is problems with the product itself or the way it was shipped? I'm not sure, but the good news is that you have 76% five star reviews and 10% one star reviews. Um, so there's a lot more positive reviews, but that doesn't mean they're, you know, the product's perfect. Um, so, but it's good to, to. To check it out for yourself. If you want to look more into these um, reviews and decide if it's really worth it, um, then check out the link in my description. I'll link the to the page, the store page, and you can check out all the reviews there. Um, but otherwise, I hope that this video was helpful, maybe to help you um, 
decide on this product or not. Leave a like or dislike um, if you if, if you have some time. And also, if you want more videos like this in the future, feel free to subscribe because I continue to make more um, product videos on a daily basis. So thank you again so much for your valuable time, for sharing it with me, and I hope you have a great day.